I'm only showing you the return statement. I'm not showing you the code that came before this. But even if you did not know the code before this, you should wonder what would happen in this expression that would be different to this expression. Is there some part of this statement that is potentially dangerous? Well, we have seen that dividing by 0 is a problem. Right? Now, what if m happened to be 0? Maybe the previous code actually checked for that and this is not a worry. But we don't know what that previous code is. Just looking at this code, we should imagine what if m was 0. If m was 0 and we evaluated this condition, it would be false. And then we do not evaluate this expression which is good because trying to evaluate this expression with m equal to 0 is going to cause a divide by 0 error. So we would take advantage of short circuiting knowing that Python is short circuiting the AND and this piece of code is perfectly safe. It will not divide by 0 because the only way we will get to this second expression is if the first expression is true. It's only then we will evaluate. As soon as the first expression is false, we will no longer be evaluating it. So as long as m is greater than 0, we will come here and then we will divide. And then it's OK to divide because m is not 0. It's positive. In contrast, if m was 0 and we hit this expression, we would do a divide by 0 and this code would crash because of the division by 0. And this test comes too late this already produces an error. It doesn't produce a true or a false. It actually crashes the code. Your program will stop and you will get the divide by zero error message. So there's a big difference between these two.